Hello, Doc Detroit here. How y'all doing? It's been a long time since I've been on. You ever had a really bad idea, but still thought you just had to do it anyway? I've been putting some cars together, and I came across some parts that really shouldn't fit together. But where's the fun in that? It's been a hot summer, been a wet summer. I was feeling a little down, so I decided it's time to get some creativity. Tell me what you think. I know I'm going to make a lot of people upset with this one, but, uh, I think I could put it together, and uh, I think I'm going to film the whole thing, which is something I haven't done in quite a while. Uh, it may not be the most professional edited looking thing, because, well, I don't have any editing software right now, and so it's all going to be done on my phone, and it'll probably all be cutscenes. but I think we'll get the point across anyway. So... Really bad idea, putting two cars together that have no business being together. Okay, so let's start off with the first vehicle. That there is what is left of a 1959 Ford F-100 panel truck. Basically, from the top up is good, and the rest of it is no good. So, from this one, what do you think? We got a roof. Got an interesting roof. Huh. What do you suppose I might want to do with it? Over here, sitting out in the woods where it belongs, is a 1956 Oldsmobile 88. Body looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks an awful lot like a 55, 56 Chevy. Different fenders, different hood, different taillights. But I'm noticing it's a four-door. And people just don't seem to want it. And I've had it here for years now. So I was thinking, if I were to take the roof and cut it off right here and cut all that off, maybe I could make me a uh, 56 Oldsmobile panel wagon? What about 56 Oldsmobile hearse? That would be kind of entertaining. Behind me, this trailer with this piece of motorhome on it, that's a uh, 454 and an automatic with 20,000 miles on it. That Yeah, that would go good in this car. It doesn't need to have a million horsepower, but it ought to move it okay. Well, what do you guys think? It seems like a really stupid idea. I mean, really stupid. But I've been working on a 68 Falcon station wagon, and I put a whole new floor in it. And I've just, i got to step away from it for a while. So why not do something really stupid? Let's go get a closer look at that wagon and see what we think. Here's the roof line of this wagon. Here's the roof line of this wagon. See how it's got this lip here? Now, I measured this lip from here to there, and it's almost exactly the same as that Oldsmobile. I wouldn't cut it down here, but I would take it at that seam. Then there's some more interesting things about the top that I didn't know that until I had one. Uh, we'll open this door. Let's see if... Huh. I wonder why I want to cut this car up. <laughs> so, as you see in here, it's basically a standard truck bed, and at this level, it's it, you can cut it off, and it's all one piece. I may have to modify door jams, stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, I think it'll work. Ooh, I'm in the dark. So here's what I'm thinking. 
if I splice that roof, if I cut this across, and I splice that roof in here, I could save up to here, and then if I cut this door, oops, I'm making a mess. If I were to cut the, take the glass out, cut the door off here, I could butt weld the roof of that panel truck into this shape so we can keep the shape, cut the rest of the roof off, cut the whole back here off, cut, take the trunk off, run that body out to the taillights. I may have to cut it short. There's like a three inch difference. But I think it can be done. Incidentally, I don't even know if I can get this door open. A few years ago, I put floors in this car. Started putting rockers in it. But uh, never quite finished. So I thought it would be neat. Put these leather buckets in. I got a new carpet for it. Make a little two-door Oldsmobile station wagon panel truck. What do you think? Stupid, huh? So there you go. What do you think? I think it's not the best idea I've ever had. But I've never seen one. You ever seen somebody put a panel roof on an Oldsmobile? <laughs> hmm. Maybe we'll even chop it. What do you think? Anyway, I'm Doc Detroit. Thanks for listening to me for a few minutes. Feel free to leave any objections or uh, ideas on how to do it, or maybe, uh, you know, save me the trouble and come by the darn things and get them out of my yard. But no, I think I'll put it together. I don't think I'll get it together and running this year because I want to go back on my 68 wagon this winter. But uh, I think I'll get that roof cut off and I'll try to film it. And... Uh, I don't have the best editing right now, but I will do my best for now. And uh, it's my understanding that uh, I will have some equipment here a little bit in the future. And maybe I can make some better quality videos for you guys. You know what gave me the idea? Is I, uh, I ended up watching Bad Chad weld these two cars together. And it's not my style. I, I don't particularly care for the aesthetics of it um but he's just like hey do it if you want to weld it together weld it together you know it's yours you don't have to feed it and i say well, you know i want to use some of my creativity and i put a lot of cars together so uh yeah i'm actually waiting to see what he does on the uh, the nose of his cab over pickup because i think that's the styling that bothers me right now i'd love to see it when he's done and I have all the respect in the world for him. And he, he's very creative and very artistic. I just don't like it. <laughs> but it gave me the it gave me the oomph to uh to start this project. So again, bye all. Leave your comments down. Like if you like. Uh like if you don't like, I don't know. Uh subscribe. Uh, in theory, that's supposed to help me. But uh I don't actually worry about any of that stuff. I'm going to be taking crap apart and welding it together in my yard for the rest of my life anyway. So if you guys want to see it, I will post it. Thank you for watching. Bye now.